Hello and welcome back. This particular video is video number four, and we're going to focus on the Facebook pixel. So we briefly talked about that earlier, but before we dive in, I want to say that you will need to have a Facebook business account. So to do that, you'll need to go to business.facebook.com. That's business.facebook.com. You'll need to create an account so that Facebook knows that you have access to certain ad accounts. So with a business Facebook account, you are able to not only access your own account, but you'll also be able to access anyone else who gives you permissions to do so. Now, as far as the pixel goes, once you have created an account, what you'll need to do is up at the top, you'll see this events manager and you'll see this slash 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 icon. You'll click on that and then you'll click on the all tools down here and then you'll click on pixels right here. Now, bear in mind that Facebook oftentimes will change around their user interface. So if it doesn't look exactly like this, then look around and you'll likely find the pixels. Now, like I said, Facebook changes their user interface a lot, sometimes every month, sometimes very frequently. So just keep that in mind. So what you need to do is simply go to pixels right here, and then you'll land on this specific page. Now, as I briefly mentioned earlier, a Facebook pixel is merely a piece of code that you put on your website. And we'll talk more about how to add that to your website, what are best practices and all of that. But basically all you need to know is the Facebook pixel is a very powerful piece of code that allows Facebook not only to see who visits your website, who converts into a sale, who converts into an email opt-in lead, who perhaps fills out a form, and more. It also collects a lot of data about the visitor, who they are, what sites they visit, and a lot more data. In fact, Facebook in itself has so much data that as far as being an advertiser, it enables you to reach more people that are actually interested in what you have to offer. So that's basically what a pixel is. And to set it up, all you have to do is go to this page, click on setup here, and it'll give you different options. So you can either click this here to manually install the code yourself, and it'll basically give you a piece of code that you will install. Or as you can see here, it says Facebook Pixel currently integrates with these platforms here. So you can click that and it'll allow you to add it to these locations here. And if you are not a web developer and you have a web developer and you prefer to send that information to them, then you can click email instructions to the developer. Now we're gonna talk more about this in the next video on how to get the code, how to add that code to your website. If you're using a WordPress website, what kind of WordPress plugins should you use? And we'll talk more about that in the next video.